Alright, I'm Matt, and this is my video for the fifth week of the Pokemon Battle League, or as I like to call it, my weekly ass whooping. So, I led with Landorus T, because I figured I could just U-turn out if things were dicey. And, uh, he led with a uh, Tapu Lele, or Tapu Coco. Or I don't know what Tapu that is. But he immediately withdrew it, and sent out an Ice Pokemon, Kyrian Black, to counter my, uh, Landorus. And I had set up Stealth Rock, because I didn't need to U-turn out of that Tapu Coco. But right here I switch out, because I know that my, uh, U-turn can't outspeed his Kyrian Black. And this is when I send out my, uh, Quagsire, because I know it can take a hit from, uh, Kyrian Black. Yeah, I actually really like the way my Quagsire performed in this battle. And I was going to use, uh, use, uh, Earthquake on Kyrian Black, because that would have, uh, been super effective. And I had anticipated a switch out here, so I used Recover. And this Grass, Ferrothorn, uh, would have killed Quagsire in one hit, so I just took it straight out. And he puts down spikes, which don't seem to be as bad as stealth rocks, because they don't really kill my team as bad. I think uh, Mega Charizard doesn't take as much damage from them for some reason. And this is when Tapu Koko comes back out, and I had Mega Evolved at this point. To my Dragon, and I did a Dragon Dance. But I immediately withdraw Charizard X, so, uh... Yeah, that Dragon Dance proves to be useless. Yeah, I don't know why I did that in retrospect. I feel like it didn't really help out the battle at all. I don't know, I feel like I might have been anticipating some kind of, a uh, Ice move from that thing, or... I have no idea. If I just stayed in with that plus one Charizard X, I probably could have done a, performed a lot better in this battle, because it turned out being really close. And that Earth Power does nothing to me. Yeah, I'm a s I don't know, I think that was kind of a misplay by him. But I just used the opportunity to get a talk it off on Kyrian Black, just to a kind of wear away at him. And my Lepto is giving back a little HP, so that helps out. And Toxic Poisons are worse than regular poisons, so... Uh, if Kyrie and Black had stayed in, that would've, uh... That would've made it lose HP rather rapidly. See, and this is where, uh... I got really excited, because I thought I'd have an opportunity to kind of pull away. Because sending an electric Pokemon up against the ground is really bad. I honestly think Jake must have forgot that Quagsire's groundwater to send out Tapu Koko. And then he sends out Halucha. And it is a shiny Halucha. And my Stealth Rock takes some away. And right here, I just kind of try to, uh, Toxic and recover until, uh, Halucha faints. And that actually works out pretty well. And I was thinking I could get a sweep with Quagsire at this point, but that was not to be. Yeah, this actually turned into a pretty long battle with a lot of turns, a lot of recovers, a few Toxics. A lot of switches, just a, a lot of mistakes on my part. Yeah, a lot of mistakes that cost me my fifth match in a row. Uh, well, on my way to winning the Sacco this season. Uh, 
Yeah, at this point, I just want to talk about how much I appreciate all the newcomers to this league, and just like to thank everybody for making the league what it is. Uh, Cause I don't really need to explain to you guys every recover and uh, toxic poison that's going on right here. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. Everybody's learning a lot about Pokemon. There's a lot of friendly competition going on. And I think we're all really looking forward to Casey's cookout. And Mike's going to bring Subway cookies. I'm sure those will be delicious. Yeah, and I, uh, faint, and I actually kill Bird Person with my, uh, Earthquake there. So that's good. Yeah, I was actually really ecstatic that Quagsire was able to KO two Pokemon. And I really thought I was gonna KO this Kyrie in Black too, because I thought I'd be able to tank that Blizzard, but alas, I wasn't. I think it just barely knocked me out. And this is when I kind of faced a conundrum. Oh, well, actually, I did it. It was really easy for me to send in Charizard X and just uh, get a lit. Oh, a Dragon Claw off. Because Kyrian Black was already pretty hurt, and that's super effective. It just kind of put the nail in the coffin. And. Yeah, this is what actually puts the nail in my coffin, this Pokemon here. I don't even remember what it's called. I'm just going to call it Oz for the remainder of this battle. Now, if I had bought my uh, Hoopa Bound instead of Tapu Bulu, I would have been in pretty good shape against this thing. Because for the fifth week in a row, my Tapu Bulu has helped me out exactly zero. So I send out Landorus, and my Landorus has really helped me out exactly zero as well. And that Psychic does a somewhat considerable amount of damage to me. But uh, in this uh, type of competitive Pokemon, 3 HKOs are really nothing to worry about. And I honestly thought this Buginium C was going to do a lot more, because... <coughs> it's honestly the only reason I put Buginium on my uh, on my Landorus T this week. I was really hoping I could use it against his Psychic type. It did a considerable amount of damage, but as I said, three HKOs are really worthless in this type of competitive battle. And I think right here I use another. Uh, U-turn. Oh, but he withdraws Oz and sends out his Ferrothorn, and U-turn's more or less worthless against this thing. Yeah, watch it do almost no damage. Yeah, that's perfect. And Iron Barbs actually kills me. That was awful. That's another underperformance by Landris and a misuse of Landris T by yours truly. Natu, slowly getting worn away by the spikes. Really would have done better in this battle if I had kept him in after the plus one, plus one dragon dance. But it didn't happen. And I used Flare Blitz against... Salazzle. Uh, that's actually a Pokemon I used in the new games, Pokemon Moon. I actually spent a long time looking for a female Salandit, so I could get a Salazzle. And I actually anticipated out Spezing Salazzle here, but I didn't. I don't really know how. And here's where I send out my Kyrium. Nice Dragon Ice Pokemon. I think I sent out Pyrium because I wasn't really anticipating it. Uh, anticipating Salazzle using a fire move here. So, and I knew I could get off an Earth Power if Salazzle didn't use a fire move. So, that was kind of my thinking there. And here comes Yard Roomba. 
and the, the stones dig away at it as my poison digs away at me. And I had an earth power. I don't know why I used that. And this gyro ball takes me out. I don't know if I forgot that ice was super weak to steel here or anything, but... Yeah, that, uh, that happened. So, not great for me. Yeah, this is when I start getting nervous. I kind of went to sleep on the battle, and then I uh, woke up when I realized it was 2-2. Two -two. But, you know, I'm thinking I can still get it back. I can kind of... Maybe get a KO with Bugs Cloister or Fortress here. Honestly, just bringing it as a defogger at this point, and I haven't used it to defog once, so I don't even know why I'm bringing it. I can think of 10 other Pokemon I would have rather had at this point. But, uh, yeah, that's the way the snooze goes. And right here it's 2-1, so I'm thinking I might actually be able to pull it out, pull out my first W of the season. But, Oz uses Moonlight and gets all his HP back. If Moonlight hadn't been getting used throughout these last, I don't know, 20 turns, maybe 10 or 15 turns, I, uh, I would have won. But, Moonlight and Recover and all those HP restoring moves are legitimate ways to win Pokemon battles, so... More power to Jake. This was well played by him, and... Much like any kind of competitive game, if you go to sleep after some early uh, victories, if you will, you're probably going to end up losing. You can't go to sleep. Like, if you're up 14 after the first quarter of a football game and you just kind of go to sleep, you're going to find yourself 49-14 at the end of the fourth quarter uh, with you losing. Or, if you're playing golf and you're going in the back 9-3 up and you just kind of go to sleep on the match, uh, you're going to end up losing by the 18th hole. That's not good. Or, if you're playing cricket and you're up 4 wickets at the half, and in the last third they score more uh, bats and balls and knickers than you, you're, gonna, you're not going to win that cricket match. And that's pretty much what happened to me. He just... Uh, yeah, I went to sleep and I didn't end up getting paid off. And I actually had some hope that my Tapu Bulu would be able to take this out, but... I had a choice band on it, so I knew my decision of move here would be really, really important, because I knew I'd never get to change it. So I was hoping I'd just be able to stay at, to spam Horn Leech until this Pokemon fainted, but that didn't happen. I just thought the combination of damage and health coming back to me would end up working out for me. But it's a useless 3HKO. And, yeah, if I only take half the health that I do, and there's no Grassy Surge, he can kind of just Moonlight once and uh, use Psychic a few times uh, until I'm knocked out. And if my Grassy Surge hadn't been affecting him, I might have, that might have been good. And I actually got really lucky with Paralysis at the end of the match. It's supposed to have a 50% chance of me not getting an attack off. And I think I got like 85% of my attacks off. It was actually... If I were Jake, I would not have been pleased. Yeah, this Pokemon really put the final nail on my coffin. And from here, it's just kind of a matter of time until Grassy Surge wears off. And I kind of realized it, that once Grassy Surge wore off, I'd lose the battle, but I hadn't fully accepted it. And once Grassy Surge kind of came off, it was just, it was over, I think, three moves after that. So. Yeah, this is really... Majin Buu coming out is really the beginning of the end for me. 
And this was a long, grueling march towards my ultimate defeat. Which probably should have been a victory. This is a match that I kind of threw. Also, I didn't really plan out for it this week. I just kind of thought that what I had would have been fine. And it ended up not being fine. It, uh... Well, actually, it was fine. It just I didn't play well with it. I don't know if my competitive Pokemon got rusty or my competitive Pokemon skills got rusty, but... I have been underperforming this season. I gotta turn it around. Turn it around, maybe. Go on a nice winning streak, maybe this week. I'm battling Jen, but I don't have high hopes. And... Yeah, maybe I'll get the... Maybe I'll win next week. Maybe I'll win this week. Who knows? I'll probably get my Pokemon in. Plan my team out on Monday. Uh, so I'm not using the same nine Pokemon I've been using all season. Get that into David. Get him to make them. And uh, hopefully I can do something good this week. Yeah, I think this match was a lot of turns. This was a 40 turn match. 40 on the nose. So, yeah. I think I... I think I just get too uh, unable to move because of my paralysis. And he just, uh, yep, can't move. And he just takes my white ass out. So, yeah. These leftovers are meaningless. Just one more psychic, and that's the end of me. Good job, Jake. Another close match. Similar to mine with Schulze at the beginning of the season. And just an overall good match. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And leave the name of your favorite Pokemon region, along with 17 reasons why, in the comments. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next week.